if you were doing it as most European Air Force do on a noise uh, ratio, actually because these flights are all being offered by a much quieter aircraft, it will raise no very little noise issues at all. And the challenge is, the real issue that the residents, and in my view, rightly complain about, is the cargo planes arriving in and out at 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. Now, I have no issue with, you know, cancel cargo flights or move cargo flights to Weston or to Shannon. Who cares? It's only bloody boxes and packages. But you can't have passengers, have uh, families have their summer holidays disrupted by some arcane and ineffective uh, and outdated noise regulation like this. You've got noise problem, uh, noise regulation problems in Amsterdam. Are there other airports that have uh, really pushed to reduce uh, traffic that have impacted on your schedules? No, no airport has pushed to reduce traffic. I mean, uh, every airport is largely, you know, is, is trying to encourage us uh, to, invent, to, offer, to allocate the new aircraft to their airports. I mean, the new aircraft are meaningfully, the, the max uh, aircraft are meaningfully quieter. They're 50% quieter than the NGs, which in turn were nearly 50% quieter than the old, the 200s. Like, yeah. There's been a revolution in noise reduction technology at aircraft. And yet you have these kind of unspecified allegations from a couple of people in St. Margaret's, which get a disproportionate, you know, disproportionate influence on a couple of idiot county councillors in Fingal, for Christ's sake. You know, they, uh, have to have the, they have the benefit of having the airport in their in their uh, council, whatever it is, constituency. Most of the jobs in Fingal are generated by the airport anyway. And you can't have these kind of arbitrary planning issues. Well, you know, to be fair, I don't blame Fingal County Council. I blame Eamon Ryan because our transport minister should have been updating these, uh, these issues when the second runway was opened. He was all very happy to show up at the opening of the second runway and has done nothing since to address this kind of city planning restriction. But for Fingal County Council to come out with a six-week enforcement order that will, you know, massively disrupt uh, flights and passengers at Dublin Airport is unacceptable. And for Dublin Airport to have sat in its hands as it always does, you know, they've been too busy trying to piss away 200 million on a tunnel under a taxiway to, to their cargo aircraft or trying to bid for their, you know, another car park to actually deal with uh, the much more fundamental issue of uh, this idiotic noise restriction on the opening of the second runway.